Murray, obviously, I think the defense played well as a whole, but the big play is something that's, that's uh, plagued this team all year. How frustrating is that where you get them in situations and then they bust a, a 50 yard run? Um, obviously, it's kind of frustrating, but uh, like Coach says, try to limit the explosives and um, like we all got to do our jobs. And I feel like uh, like the back, the back half does their job and the front half does their job. So I can't really worry about everything that's going on, but as a team, we just got to keep trucking and just keep finding a way to just like limit the explosives. Once we do that, we're the sky's the limit. How much did you miss not having Nick out there? Oh, uh, you know, Nick, he's a baller, man. I mean, he makes plays all the time and uh, coach is basically telling me to just step up and like there's no drop offs, but uh, not having Nick out there is definitely uh, detrimental to the team somewhat because like he's, he's the guy, man. He makes plays. Uh, when when they max pro, they he, he just finds a way to make plays over, always around the ball, and uh, not having him, it, it sucks. You had a big stretch there in the first half where you were getting to the quarterback uh, pretty much at will. What did you see, or what were you able to do during that stretch? Uh, just watching tape during the week, uh, I know the the tackles that they were average, and I just try to use my length and uh, just uh, do what I've been doing all year in practice and and in the games, just just try to cause havoc. And, I can. Is it mind-boggling when you look at the talent on this team and all the games that have been basically like this that, you know, it seems like you're coming up on the wrong end of all of these these one-score games? Yeah, it is, but, like, you just got to, like I said, everybody got to focus and do their job. And we have a bunch of talent, and, like, once everything just start clicking, I know injuries been uh, been hurting us a little bit. But once every, every, once we're clicking, as you can see, we're, they're like, we're unstoppable. So we just got to try to get everybody healthy and, and just do, do our job. Another game where they scored on the first drive uh, relatively easily, maybe shut them down for the rest of the half. What's happening on those first drive of games? We just got to come out faster. Uh, we're, we're not coming out as fast. Uh, we just got to, as soon as the game starts, we have to just put a pedal to the metal. We can't ease into it, and that, that's the result when you, when you don't come out fast. So Thieneman gets the interception there at the end. Obviously, you guys you know, very excited, and then looking to put an end or come back into this game. What was that feeling like when Thieneman got that interception late in the fifth? Oh, it was like a spark. Like, I knew that, like, you know, like fourth quarter that we was going to come back. Like, I knew we was going to shut, shut him out and stuff like that. And it was just a spark, like, seeing things catch the ball and then knowing how offense can go back outside, but go back and uh, score. It was just, it was a great feeling. Mm -hmm. Anything else? All right, thanks, Cordette.